guys, it's, it's Craig here with Indie Corner, and I have my good friend with Georgia Transplant Foundation, Latanya Patterson. Tanya, how are you doing today? I'm good this morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, wonderful. How long uh, have you guys been doing events like this? We've been doing events like this almost since the inception of GTF, so since around 94, I believe, okay. and we started in 92. All right. So how how much has it grown as far as uh, sponsorship uh, participation and also the um, the donors and also the recipients and those who are seeking transplant? Well, it's been growing pretty well again pre post pandemic. Um, before the pandemic, we were at Georgia State because we needed space that would seat about four to five hundred Georgia recipients and candidates. Um, we've been steadily getting back up there post pandemic, but of course, with the immunocompromised community, we want to make sure that everything is safe, first and foremost. So we're not, you know, if you're feeling some kind of way about coming out, we'll have another one next year, or we'll have one in one of the localities maybe closer to you, and that may have fewer people, so you may feel more comfortable attending one of those. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, how can individuals who are seeking transplant and who need financial assistance uh, get in contact with the Georgia Transplant Foundation? Okay, so if you're looking for our financial assistance pro um, programs, your first point of contact is actually going to be your transplant center social worker. They can help you apply for all of those programs. Um, if you're looking for the TFP program, then the first point of contact is me. But you can reach me through our website at gatransplant.org. I know that's probably the easiest way to tell y'all. <laughs> right. All right. So thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you later on. All right. All right no problem. Okay, thank you. you. Thank you. We are with Dr. Asi La. Uh, she's also with the Georgia Transplant uh, Foundation, and she's going to explain to us what she does. So, Dr. Lock, what is it that you do? So I work with the Jump Start clients. Mm -hmm. Our Jump Start program is uh, a program designed to help transplant recipients and their family members get back to work. Mm -hmm. So I help them with resources and uh, sometimes direct hires with partners that we work with. Um, and it's just very rewarding because sometimes people have these transplants and they can't do what they used to do. Like if you were a welder for 30 years and you had a liver transplant, you can't go back and be out in the elements, you know. So Jumpstart helps you start thinking about what you can do different, you know, or different career paths or you may go back to school or I use, I like to ask them, what have you always wanted to do? And then we can work together to try to figure out how you can try that. So it, it's a wonderful program, and I'm just so blessed to be able to run that program. Awesome. awesome. I, I guess what I want to ask for personal reasons, um, we would love to have you on the Kidney Corner podcast one day yes. just to speak about these uh, benefits that are available to individuals. So. I, I, I'm sensing I'm getting I'm getting your buy-in right now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, folks. I'm in. It's, it's yeah. all it's recorded. We got the receipts right now. <laughs> it's all. It got the receipts. Hey folks, it's Craig here with Get in Position as it relates to your health and the Kidney Corner podcast. Um, I'm here with one of my mentees. Tally, and Tally is currently on dialysis, and he's getting evaluated to get on the kidney transplant list. And we are both here together at the Georgia Transplant Foundation workshop conference. So, so Tally, what you thought of the conference? I thought it was a great experience. Um, it was very educational, and to know that there's a community out there just for this and what you're going through while while you're on this, and. It was just so educational just to know all the all the outlets and all the support you really have. And I, and I would encourage anybody to get involved with this because it's really hope. And this 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 um, this event gave gave me a lot of hope in it, you know, because there's a lot of things we just don't know. And if I had a chance to do it all over again, I would. Awesome. Awesome. So 
So what was there one thing in particular that you actually picked up? What stood out to you the most? The most was the support group. I didn't know the support group was this 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 broad. And the the, the available care to us as a, as a recipient and a lot of people are going through the same thing. I thought I was all in it alone for some reason, but I found out that it's a, it's a ton of people and there's a ton of support. And it was, and I met a lot of great people and a lot of concerning doctors. And it was just, it was just very uplifting to be here today. And I'm glad I did, I'm glad I came. And my brother Craig introduced it to me and he's been a blessing in my life since I first met him. And I'm looking forward to this journey with him all the way through. All right, that's awesome, that's awesome. So what we're looking for forward to is you getting on the transplant list at Emory, and then we are gonna branch out and get on some more lists, the better your chances, yes, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. And, um, and one day you will come here as a transplant recipient that's what we're looking forward to right? right you know what i'm saying yes. brother yes sir yes sir and what was what would be your message to those who are currently on dialysis and seeking a transplant what would be your message to them my message to them would be don't give up that's hope and to get involved and don't be afraid to share your journey or share your experiences with it because you're not the only <clears throat> you're not the only one you're not alone and that there's hope it, and there's light at the end of the tunnel so whatever you do just don't give up and get involved in these in these um in these meetings with and definitely join GT GTF yeah, Georgia, yeah Georgia Transplant Foundation definitely join that because it, it's it's really it's it's more than you it's more than you expect uh and I, and, I, and I thank God for this, for this opportunity today. Marvina, thank you for coming out today. What did you think about the event? The event today was excellent. Um, a lot of information was given out. Um, one of my main purposes coming from Charleston to this event is because I want to know about donors um, and how to get a donor and where, where do I need to research and also about fundraising. Um, the information that I have to go back to because they talked a very little about it but that was okay gave me just enough information for me to go out and do my little research and who to reach out to to help me with that because I'm I've been on the I've been not transplanted I'm sorry I got um kidney diagnosed with my kidney disease back in November of 23 so I'm almost a year in um and this journey that I'm on has been amazing for me for the fact that the support I've had and I have um, from day one uh, is scary because I was in quick denial of my renal kidney failure and with my children supporting me, my sisters, my family supporting me, it made it much easier. So now I'm put, I put in the work and I'm still putting in the work. But now I gotta figure out, okay, Marvin, you're gonna be transplanted. I'm, I'm gonna be transplanted soon. I don't care what nobody says. God, my, my, God got me feeling like, hey, you got this. So now I'm on my fundraising game. So what I'm going to do for me in fundraising, I kept talking about a GoFundMe, and I'm still gonna do it. Um, but with that GoFundMe, I'm putting out a QR code for a donorship to see if I want someone can uh, I can get a donor for a kidney. So in doing all this, God is going to bless me with this kidney that I'm going to get from a living donor. That's right. And I'm looking forward to it. That's so right. yes, but today was amazing for the fact that there's some things I did not know. Um, for when it comes to going through this process, um, finding out you're sick and moving forward with your illness and how to cope with your illness. And Craig is my mentor and Craig is awesome. I'm trying to tell you guys, y'all look at this, y'all need to hit him up, I'm telling you, okay? But also too, with me and Charleston, he's here. And there's sometimes, you know, 
It's not a time I picked up the phone and called. He did not answer me. But there's some times that I don't want to bother him. <laughs> and I'm in my own little corner. <laughs> now I have resources I can reach out to besides him. Okay. So, no, I'm not kicking him to the left. I will never do that. You better do that. not. You better <laughs> not. <laughs> I won't do that. No, because he's awesome. But I won't. Some things I'm like, okay, Marvin, you can do this. You can do this. But if I get to that point that I can't do it, I know who to call. But also, too, I got other resources now. Awesome. So, yes. Awesome. So, today was very good for me. I took that ride from Charleston, you know, and I fought with it all week long. Am I going? I'm not going. I'm going back and forth. I'm glad I came. You know, um, I can go back home feeling good. I can go back home and say, hey, guys, this is what I learned. This is what we're going to do. Right. I can pick up the phone and call my daughter in Maryland. Daryl, this is what you have to do for your mother. Come on, let's get on it. You know, so with all of that, y'all, reach out. I'm telling you, reach out to them and keep and keep watching because it gives a lot of good information. So yeah, for me, for everybody, it's a lot of good information because you can't do this by yourself. And if you think you can, I'm trying to tell you, you cannot. Because I am a strong person and I fight and I fight hard for what I want and for what I need. And I know without him and without others, I would not have been able to do it to get me to the position where I'm at now and to move forward. So, yes. That's what's up. You heard it, folks. She's getting in position with getting position. And so I'm so happy for her. I call her Craig Jr. because of her 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 uh, energy and her wanting to thrive. And the one thing we talked about, Marvina, is that this doesn't have you. You have it exactly, and exactly. you have it by the neck. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yes. So, and so one day we're gonna come back and revisit this. And that next interview is gonna be after when you got the after, after transplant. After transplant. Yep. Again, make sure you get in position as it relates to your health. We see y'all later. Peace. <laughs> the Get In Position Foundation mentors and supports individuals diagnosed with kidney disease and currently on dialysis. Someone who can identify with what you're going through can make all the difference in the world and aid in the success of your health journey. The Kidney Corner podcast also provides education, information, and a perspective from a patient's point of view. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel at getinposition21.org and make sure you get in position as it relates to your health.